All right guys, so in this video, what we're gonna talk about is Studio 5000, and it's gonna be how to order the IO tree. So normally people think that it's the IO tree is gonna be ordered per like alphabetical order or something like that. You know, I've actually struggled with this in the past as well. So I wanna make a video to show, help show you how to do this. It's actually done by IP address. And let me show you a little bit closer, all right? So you see my IO over here, right? So you can see that I have all my flow meters between right this range right here between 192, 168, 115 down to 192, 168, 25. So you can see that they're there. Then I have all my PowerFlex drives all together. And then down here I have all my other devices and I have segmented those so that it's easy to find. And I ordered those in a certain way so that the person behind me could easily find those and easily use those if they had like a connection problem or either they had something they wanted to look at or just looking at the IO tree in general again when it comes down to it now to show you what I'm talking about again you would think that it would be done based upon the alphabetical order it's not though it's actually done based upon the IP address now let me show you this for an example I'm gonna take this one that's the fourth one down. And notice that we started with 15, right? So I'm gonna take the fourth one down, which is 18. And then I'm gonna change that to, let's just change it to 14, okay? We change it to 14 and you see it is now on top. So if I wanted to change the orientation, now I'm offline when I'm doing this, right? You can't do this online. But when I'm off offline and I change the IP address, it moves it to a different point of the I, IO tree. And again, you may do that for many, many different reasons. But again, when it comes down to it, when you're doing projects or when you're coming back behind somebody, and maybe you wanna order things in a different way to make things more, a little bit more user friendly for yourself or the person behind you, or maybe for the uh, company that you're doing it for. Maybe you're writing a program for a company, right? So I'm gonna put this one back because I wanna keep these in order of that I had these. And again, this one is 18. That's gonna be the fourth one down. It, you see that it moves it down to the fourth one. But I just wanted to show you this. Now, this is a little bit different than doing your actual POC program. Uh, now, that's a whole different video. But in this video, I wanted to show you how to order the items inside of your IO tree. So if everything's ethernet based, right, you can easily change and get everything that way. Now, obviously everything is not ethernet based, but those things that are ethernet based, you can structure those things just as simple as I just showed you in this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that and we'll see you guys on the next one.